Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Jamie from Pine Life. Now, this is my episode two of my accessories. In my first, if you didn't see the first episode, the first episode is about the true dual battery system. Um, I actually added a secondary battery. I got my, I showed my fuse blocks, my grounding blocks, and everything that leads up to what I'm fixing to show you. Episode two will be about switch panels, switches, and accessories. All right. We're inside the Pioneer. This is my switch plate. Um, PBR products makes this. Uh, they have several con different configurations. I mean, they've got them with the switches all the way across. You get the radio on the opposite side. They have one that got cup holders. Just a, a ton of variety of, it just to suit your needs. Now, I chose to go with this six switch panel with the two gauges and the three, in three and a half inch radio. The reason I did that is because I wanted to do two voltmeters to go with my true dual battery system, and I didn't see this one at the time. Well, when I bought my radio, I wanted a small, compact radio, and I decided on this. It had mixed reviews, but this has been a really good radio for the last two years. I'm really happy with it, but it come with an auxiliary port and a USB port, so you could just hook up to your radio and play your phone through your radio. But I always use Bluetooth and it works exceptionally well. Now, what I've done with the plate is you just set the plate in, like I said, put the two screws in it, and then check all, you outline all your gauges, your circles, and everything. And then what I've done, I took a squire and went to each corner, and I was worried about putting a jigsaw through this because I wasn't sure what was behind it, but there's not that much behind it. But I used a Milwaukee rotary tool with the little blade, and I just followed the line and cut it out I still had to trim a little bit around the edges of the switches, but it fit right in. Now the holes, uh, the center hole that you'll have for your rivet, and there's one down here, they're not in this plate. And I, it comes with three black rivets. You don't have to buy anything. Now what I've done with this panel, <coughs> it's a very thick, very beautiful black powder coated panel, but I wanted to add my own touch to it. And my UTV is uh, Phantom Camo from Honda, and this is uh, real tree camo wraps I had from my four-wheeler, so I just did the camo wrap on it and trimmed it out and put it on. Now, the switches are all Mitchell Toying from Amazon. Um, I really like these switches. Like I said, I've had this whole setup in for two years. Now, these little covers are changeable. If you break one, you can change them. Uh, right now, the way my setup is... I didn't want power to this switch panel. I just wanted to see my battery. Because I use my UTV more for hunting than I do anything. Well, besides summer work and stuff like that. But I wanted to be able to control everything to where it accidentally cut, didn't come on or anything. So this is reading battery one. Now, when I flip this switch, it says interior lights, but it's actually my main power. It's the only one that's lit up right now. When I hit it, I get power to everything except my radio. I chose to keep my radio on a separate switch just in case I wanted to run my lights and not the radio didn't come on accidentally. As you can see, you turn that switch on, the radio lights up. Also, as you can see with the voltmeter, I kick the main switch off, I lose my bottom battery. So this switch here that says deer lights is actually my 52 inch curved front bar, light bar. This Sasquatch lights is the ones I have mounted on both sides for if we're looking for a deer or we're out at night or whatever and somebody shot one, we're trying to find it. These side lights help out. But the one that helps more than anything is the back light to load them. If somebody harvests a deer late in the afternoon, we know where it's at. You know, everybody's got headlamps on. But when you brought back the side-by-side -side down there, you can just hit that back switch and I've got a 14 inch light bar on the back that lights everything up. So that is the reason I went with this. Now I did, I went ahead and put all this together and pre-wired it with extra wire and zip tied it before I run it out to my fuse block and stuff that you've seen in episode one. Each one of these switches come with a diagram. They're very easy to put together. They're easy to pull in and out of this plate. 
And like I said, this is almost like a two-year review. They have been in here two years, and they have been flawless. I haven't had no issues with any of these. So that's basically my switch panel nutshell. All right, that concludes episode two. Uh, hope it was informative. Uh, hope you got some uh, good info from it. Uh, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you like our videos, uh, if you would, please subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, hit the bell for future notifications. I uh, hope to bring you more stuff like this. And like I said, hope it's informative. Well, we'll move on to number three. God bless. See you next time.